Welcome back to another day in the life of a first grade teacher. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I teach first grade in Southern California. Okay, so first thing that we do is morning circle where the kids go and sit right on over there. At circle time, we say good morning to each other. We have a little special handshake in our classroom. And then we discuss emotions and really expanding the vocabulary so they can talk about their feelings rather than maybe acting on a little bit. We're also getting really good at giving compliments to one another, which is much needed because they've been starting to pick at each other a little bit. And so I thought a nice way would be having circle time, building that community, giving them a special handshake and having them compliment each other on little things, even if it's just their shoes. <laughs> so that is circle time. After circle time, we go to our daily five. So this is what their daily five looks like. So then we have our math review, word problems, which they hate, fixing our sentences and short vowel review for my small group. On the back, they turn it over and I'm doing a little introduction to fractions, kind of front loading them. So when we get to our fractions lesson, they kind of know what's going on, what to expect, and they get it a little quicker. After that, let's go back to our schedule. I will dive into phonics, which takes majority of our morning. We're learning about the silent letters in r, n, and n. Then we dive into compound words a little bit more. After that, we open our anthology book and we are reading Rain School, which is appropriate because it's been raining down here. <laughs> After we read our story, we will discuss and write about the cause and effect in the story. Then we're going into grammar, our regular pronouns and some special pronouns. That'll take us to lunch. And then after lunch, we're going to get started on our math benchmark, which the kids get super excited about because it's on the computers. And then they realize they probably shouldn't have been so excited about it. Then we're gonna be closing with PE, let them go outside, let out a little extra energy and go home. So I'll check in with you guys at recess or lunch, let you know how it's going, pick you up at the end of the day and we'll talk about it. Okay, so it is lunch time. We had a little extra time and we got to use our new compare and contrast books. And the kiddos loved them. The title is Animals because all of the passages are comparing and contrasting animals. This one is about gorillas. So we highlight the three facts or three key details and write them in the Venn diagram. And then again, whatever they have in common in green goes in the middle. After that is when we tied in the anthology book. So they're finishing up their story about the rain school. So right now they have all those on their desks and we are finishing up. When we get back from lunch, we're gonna finish the story. We've been talking about cause and effect while we're reading it. So then we'll just drop that down on paper and then dive into our grammar where we're talking about pronouns. After that, we're going into our math benchmarks. <sighs> But the math is normally a lot smoother. I still have a small group that I'll pull back to finish the ELA one, but overall it should be a lot better if our internet doesn't, um, if our internet decides to work. So I'll let you know. <laughs> then we'll wrap up with PE and I'll pick you guys up at the end of the day. Okay, so it's the end of the day. After lunch, I brought the kids into the carpet. I like to read them a story after recess to kind of calm them down, mellow them out a little bit. But we actually read a story, Down Comes the Rain. It's an awesome book. It explains what clouds are, how they're made up of different droplets and evaporation, all of that. Awesome book, super colorful, highly recommend. But perfect timing because this totally related to something awesome that happened at the end of the day. I'll explain it later. After we read this story about rain, we finished up our anthology story about rain school. Then we discussed and wrote about the cause and effect throughout the story. After that, we did our math benchmarks, which went exactly as planned, which means the internet went out, only half the kids got to take the test, the ones that needed to remake the ELA test weren't able to, and yeah, welcome to a day in the life of a teacher. <laughs> it worked out. The kids who didn't take the test, I brought it to the carpet, and we actually read one of these pigeon books. The pigeon needs a bath. These are awesome because it totally opened up a new way for the kids to story write. We talk mostly about how it's just simple characters with their speech bubbles and the dialogue and how all of that can make an awesome story and how simple it is and fun to make, all of that. And after we read the story, we brainstormed some characters, some problems and solutions, some situations, and then they went on writing their own books. 
Um, my example, I actually have an example on the board, so I'll show that to you. Yep, so basically like that. So after both teams were about finished, we decided to pack them getting ready for PE. So we went out to PE, and this is where the awesome thing happened. So we got to PE, and it was after a light rain, and so there's still some puddles on the floor. The cement was wet, but because the cement was warmer than the air outside, it was starting to evaporate, look a little foggy, look like clouds, and the kids went nuts. They're like, Miss Blair, it's evaporating. I'm running through a cloud. Did you plan this? Yeah, duh, I totally plan the weather. Absolutely. So overall, awesome day, and we'll finish up everything tomorrow. All right, so that's about it. I hope you liked this video of a day in the life of a teacher. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell, that way you get notified whenever I post a new video. Speaking of which, I'm gonna post my videos every Saturday at 11 a.m., so stay tuned. See you next week.